Hi guys, thanks all for watching today. If you're enjoying watching all the videos, then please donate if you can. Just click the link in, in the bio and it will take you to the donate page. So today I'm going to show you a grungy, dark, smoky look using all the dark colours in the Naked palette. I know that a lot of my friends don't use all the shades in this palette. They usually use just, you know, the first four maybe. Um, so I'm going to use some of these shades here to create a really uh, grungy look, kind of metallic -y. We're going to do a glossy, dewy skin look as well and uh, some liner and lashes. So keep watching. Firstly, I'm going in with P. Louise Base in shade 2 and using a synthetic brush and just patting that all over the eyelid. Then I'm going to take a fluffy brush with the shade Chaser from the Naked Heat palette and just blend that all over the eyelid. And then I'm going in with another clean fluffy brush with the shade He Devil and I'm just blending that into the crease and outwards. Now I'm going in with a slightly darker shade in Fuego from the Naked Heat palette and I'm using slightly smaller motions in the crease just to create some dimension with the second colour. To make this look even deeper I'm going in with a matte brown shade and I'm just patting it in the corners and blending it through the crease. Next I'm going to take a clean brush and go in with the metallic shade Ember and I'm going to pat that all over the eyelid and blending it out towards the other eye shadows. Next I'm taking the dark shade Ashes again and we're just matching that up from the metallic shade so that it blends into the transition shades. Next I'm going to take a smaller eyeshadow brush and dampen it with MAC Fix Spray and then I'm going to use the shade Dirty Talk and pat that all over the eyelid and it's a lovely copper shade. Next I'm going in with a matte black eyeshadow from Kiko and I'm just going into the corners. And blending it round. I'm using a gel liner here. I'm using the NYX gel liner and I'm just using a small angled brush and I'm just taking that carefully along the lash line just trying to get it really close to the lash line and I'm going to wing it out at the corners. I draw my flick on where I want it to be and then I join it up with the rest of the lash line and I'm just wanting that to stay really solid black and this, this wing's quite a strong wing. Next just popping on some mascara. My lashes have already had glue on them for maybe about two minutes and I'm going to pop those lashes on the beauty of starting a makeup with your eyes means that you can wipe away any fall underneath with a baby wipe and start fresh on your face now I'm going in with Illamasqua's Hydra Veil this is a really moisturising primer so it helps when you're wanting to create a dewy skin look. And the foundation I'm using today is Kiko's Gold Wave Fluid Foundation in shade 4. And I'm using that with a few drops of the Iconic London highlighting drops. And I'm mixing that together and just patting that all around my face.
Just blending that out all around the face until you're happy with it. And now I'm going in with Bobbi Brown's foundation stick in shade Porcelain. And I'm just using this as a concealer under the eyes to brighten up the eye area. And then I'm going to use it to highlight and cover any blemishes. Then going back in with the brush you used for the foundation and just patting that out. Now I'm going in with Illamasqua's Translucent Powder. This is a really finely milled powder and so it doesn't give you that cakey look. And I'm just powdering where I need to so I try and keep it off the cheeks so that I can still have that glow. And now I'm going in with the shade He Devil under the eye with a small angled brush and I'm just buffing that under the eye. And I'm going to build up with the darker shades as well and making sure that I have a clean brush to blend it out as well. Using the gel liner just on the waterline and then going in with the small brush again with a bit of the black eyeshadow. And now I'm using Kiko's white eyeshadow and I'm just popping that in the corners of my eyes at the tear ducts and under the brow bone. This next product is probably one of my favourite products. Um, I definitely take this with me to a desert island. This is the Legendary Brows by Charlotte Tilbury. For bronzer, I'm going in with the Park Avenue Princess Tarte Palette. It's a contour palette, so there's lots of shades in there. There's, I think there's four bronzing shades and there's two highlighting shades. And I'm just taking that under the cheekbone. And I like to use two different shades just to give it some dimension. And I usually run the brush down the sides of my nose just to take my nose in a wee bit. This is just a habit of mine and I always do it. I don't always do this on clients because a lot of people don't need it. But for me, I think I do. <laughs> and next I'm going in with a MAC blush. In the shade Desert Rose. This palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. And this has six beautiful highlighting shades in it. And I like to use a mix of two, white sand and snow. And I use a small fluffy brush just to really concentrate the product and that intensifies the highlight. This is a Kiko lip liner and it's in a really deep purple shade. The shade number is 710. And I'm just lining the lips. I'm just following the lip line just outside the lip line on the top lip. This is just because I like making my top lip a little bit bigger just to match the bottom lip. And this is just a preference of mine. And now I'm going in with NYX Matte Lip Cream. And this shade is Transylvania. And it's a really deep purpley with red undertones. And this is just great for a, a grungy, vampy look, which is what we were going for today. I've just popped some mascara on the bottom lashes and now I'm going to go in with some glitter and this is a Kiko liner glitter and this is in a gold shade and these are so lovely. It doesn't go tacky, it just dries and it just stays put, it doesn't move. So I'm just packing it on into the corners of my eyelid and bringing it sort of a third of the way over the eye and then I'm using a clean brush and I'm just patting it in and blending it out so that it blends into the eyeshadow. This just helps with the metallic -y feel for the eye look that we were going for and it creates some light in the corner.
So this is the final look. I really hope you've enjoyed watching and please remember if you can donate then click the link in the bio and it will take you to the donate page. Thanks!